Now guys rolled this rock and you can see that there is an excavation. The entrance probably would be somewhere over here and silk lined and we've got a Bonatina female. Now it's going to need Stuart to explain again more about this spider. I must admit it's a genus I actually know very little about. And I've certainly got no idea what the species is but you're looking at a very large female for Bonatina. It's not exactly a big spider usually as you've seen from some of the earlier material that we've uh, filmed. So what a wonderful wonderful piece of footage that is. You can see the excavation, there's a chamber in the middle there and right lots and lots of silk. This is a a silky spider, so to speak. And I believe the entrance must be somewhere here. Probably it's there. That's the actual entrance of the burrow itself. Now it's interesting to note there's virtually no silk there. The silk begins, okay, six or seven centimetres in. So if you were sh shining a torch down, it's unlikely you're going to see anything at all. Notice a little pit there. Okay, it goes down probably around from here, my finger goes down probably around about four or five centimetres. So there's a kind of little well which you can sink into. And it would appear to end here. The silk on the side there doesn't look therophosid. But we're going to need Stuart over here to talk more about the spider. I'm here now with the mature male of the Bonatine species which Guy found earlier nearby in this same pile of rocks uh, where the female burrow is underneath one of the rocks. So this mature male is kind of metallic gold on the carapace, the abdomen's a bit redder and the femur's actually an iridescent blue when you look at them closely in the bright light. Um, he's a feisty little chap but he calms down in times. I'm wondering if it's uh, a species described by George Mendoza quite recently in 2012, Bonatina papalutensis. Uh, that was described from relatively nearby, but uh, without closer examination, can't be entirely sure. But that seems to be the most likely candidate. Uh, the genus has been revised recently by um, a companion of his uh, in the same lab in Mexico City, David Ortiz. And uh, there's been some debate about how many different species of Bonatina there truly are in Mexico. The number's expanding quite a lot recently. Um, but I think Bonatina papalutensis is the most likely candidate for this, this guy and the same species for the girl down there below.
Yeah, you want to okay. just put it back in then. Keep farming. the rock. So Stuart, what have we got here? What's the genus? It's uh, Bonatina. Um, any, other, any idea of the species at all? No, I'm really, really not sure. Um, the species in the zone should be Bonatina tanzari, uh, but the males I've seen of that are absolutely massive compared to this, this tiny little chap. This one's an adult male already, so he's fully mature, but he's only, what, three centimetres all in? Maybe four centimetres with legs? He's a tiny little guy. Um, there's a few others which are described in this central lowland region of Mexico. Um, but without looking more closely, I'm only speculating at the moment. But certainly a Bonatina. <laughs>